the 11 best side hustles for people who aren't lazy, AKA people who aren't afraid to get their hands a little bit dirty. And I can almost guarantee that you haven't seen these before. And speaking of getting your hands a little bit dirty, the first one on the list is going to be an environmentally friendly diaper disposal service. Yep, you heard that right. You can get paid to dispose of diapers. And this is all about providing families with a guilt-free diapering option. You pick up, clean, and deliver reusable diapers, making life easier for parents and Mother Earth. And there's actually a company called Rediaper that specializes in this. And they charge their customers $18 per pack. And there are local businesses that will actually pick up the diapers, clean them, take care of them, and then re-deliver them to the house. So yeah, pretty gross, but it's something that rich people are willing to pay for. So if you're willing to do it, you could make really good money with this. I will give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score overall. Next on the list is something that's a little bit less gross, and that is going to be gutter cleaning. So if you've ever cleaned gutters, you know how incredibly annoying and sometimes slightly dangerous it can be. And it's especially dangerous if you don't have the right equipment. But if you're experienced and you have the right equipment, it can be easy and also very profitable. And in case you didn't know, if your rain gutters clog, it can actually cause you a lot of extra expense. And there's lots of different forum posts and YouTube videos online of people who start gutter cleaning businesses and they make a lot of money from it. For instance, here's someone on Reddit who started a gutter cleaning business and they made $650 in their first weekend. And they've never even cleaned gutters before. And gutter cleaners typically make between $30 and $50 per hour. So this is another one where it's very easy to just put out flyers, you can even knock on people's doors, or you can advertise on something like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace and get your first few clients. Then you can ask those clients to refer you to their friends. So this one is a really good opportunity for people who aren't afraid to do some physical work. I'll give this a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next one on the list is going to be landscaping services. Now this could be a lot of different things, but basically what you're doing is beautifying outdoor spaces. And there's this really cool story on CNBC Make It of this lady who basically just started a summer lawn mowing job into a multi-million dollar business. And of course she went from lawn mowing to landscaping. And now she has $6 million worth of equipment, $20 million in payroll, and employs over 400 people. And let's just say hypothetically, you get paid $500 a month to landscape for a particular client. And it's just like a maintenance type of thing. So you're just going around cutting the bushes, making sure everything looks good. And you go there once every two weeks. Well, at that rate, all you'd have to do is get 10 clients and you'd be making $5,000 a month. And you could take care of all those clients in just two full days per week. So I think you see what I'm getting at here. Landscaping is another one of those jobs where you can make money really easily. And you'd get your clients the same exact way as what I talked about before, probably advertising on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and word of mouth. So overall, I'll give this one an opportunity score of nine out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be a cleaning service. Now cleaning services in general can be really good, but there's certain types of specialized cleaning services where in my opinion, there's even more opportunity. For instance, it's really hard to find people who clean carpets in mattresses. The reason for that is because you have to have specialized equipment and typically made services are either too lazy or they just don't want to do it. And so that is an opportunity for you. You can buy the specialized equipment for like a hundred bucks or you can rent it for even less. And you can probably charge about twice as much as normal cleaning services. Now house cleaners on average make about $34,000 a year, but typically they're not working full time. And like I said before, if you do a specialized cleaning service and you have your own business, you can make a lot more than that. And I remember when I was moving out of a house one time, I actually had a ton of trouble finding someone who would actually clean carpets. And I did eventually find someone and they charged a lot more than a normal cleaning service. So lots of opportunity there, lots of people looking for someone who will clean their carpets or their mattresses. I'll give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one that I did myself and I made over $180 an hour from, and that is being a tutor. So back in college, I took this test called the PCAT, which is the Pharmacy College Admissions Test. I scored pretty well on it, and a bunch of people wanted to know how I scored so well. So at first, you know, I just tutored my friends for free. I showed them exactly how I did it, but then they started referring their friends to me. And I didn't have enough time to take care of everyone, so I started charging people. And at first, I charged like $30 an hour, and I thought no one was going to pay that, but funny enough, a bunch of people paid it. Then I just kept raising my prices over and over again because I kind of didn't want to do it. And eventually it got to the point where I was charging them $180 per hour. And that is the power of niching down and specializing. So if you can find a really good type of tutoring that you can specialize in, you can charge a lot of money for it. And there's even websites online that you can get started with. Typically they're not going to pay that much, but there's websites like Course Hero, for instance, where you can tutor people in really basic subjects. But the best possible thing is just to start your own tutoring service, probably advertise locally. And like I said before, make sure you specialize and niche down. But tutors typically make about $18 to $22 per hour on websites like TutorMe. And if you specialize in Tutor locally, you can make much more than that. So overall, I really like this one. I'll give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is 
is very interesting, and that's going to be a crime scene cleaner. And this is someone who specializes in cleaning and sanitizing crime scenes. And there's this really cool video I saw from the channel Cody Sanchez, and she basically interviews this lady who's making $12 million a year cleaning crime scenes. So this is obviously a specialized type of cleaning. You have to have specialized equipment, and you have to know what you're doing. And she started a company where she specializes in cleaning crime scenes, and she makes insanely good money from it. Now, of course, not everyone is going to make $12 million a year, but according to Zipia.com, crime scene cleaners make about $12 to $25 per hour. And of course, this is not something you have to have a degree for or previous experience. So it's another really cool one to look into. I would give this an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I'm about to mention one that's going to be really crazy. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below, because the next one on the list is going to be a horse and bovine semen extractor. Yes, this is a sensational side hustle where you can get paid to extract horse and bovine genetics. And all joking aside, this is actually really important when it comes to animal husbandry. And there are entire businesses that specialize in doing this and they make a lot of money. There's an article here that shows that one extraction, for instance, can make up to 10,000 euros. But with that being said, the average amount made per hour is about $15. So yeah, this one's a little bit harder to get into. You know, you'd have to know the right people or you'd have to actually buy the animal itself. But overall, I'll give it a six out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be working for a funeral home. And this involves various roles such as assisting in funeral preparations, to offering support and compassion to grieving families, to cleaning up after certain operations. Now this is something that obviously a lot of people don't want to do. And that's why workers at funeral homes typically make about $24 per hour. So another one that's a little bit harder to get into, it's not really a side hustle, it's more of a part-time or a full-time gig. So I'll give this one an opportunity score of 6 out of 10. By the way, if you like these side hustles and you think they might be good for one of your friends, go ahead and share it with them. Next one on the list is going to be a mobile knife sharpening service. And this is where you go to someone's house and you sharpen their kitchen knives. And this is actually a really good side hustle. For instance, this Redditor posted about how they make $250 to $400 a day sharpening knives as a full-time accounting student. And typically, knife sharpeners make about $30 to $60 per hour. Now, this is another one that's very easy to get started with. You could put out flyers, you could knock on people's doors, you could post on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. And then once you get a few jobs, you can just have them refer you to other people. So yeah, another really good one. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. Next on the list is going to be power washing. And this involves using high pressure water to clean surfaces. So things like buildings, driveways, and decks. And you're going to be blasting away dirt and grime. And if you don't think you can make money from this, there's a 21-year-old making $120,000 a month. Not a year. He's making $120,000 a month. But typically, with a smaller operation, you'd probably make something more like $40 to $60 per hour. But still, that's really good. And I'm honestly going to give this one like a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Of course, you do have to have the specialized equipment, so you're going to have to invest a little bit upfront, but you could just rent it as well. And it honestly also sounds really fun just blasting dirt away all the time. So yeah, I think this one would be very enjoyable, especially as a side hustle. By the way, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know by subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you don't miss out the next time I upload one. Next, let's talk about another cleaning service, and that is, of course, window cleaning. And this is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be cleaning windows. And this one literally literally just requires like a bucket, a sponge, and some soap. That's it. That's all you need to get started. So the barrier to entry is insanely low for this type of business. And here is a Reddit post from someone who made over $10,000 their first month cleaning residential windows. And generally speaking, window cleaners make about $20 to $50 per hour. So yeah, another one that's a great opportunity. I will give it a 9 out of 10 opportunity score overall. So all of these are great, but at the same time, they are relatively physically demanding. They're also pretty boring. And these are the types of businesses that are kind of hard to scale. If you want to learn a skill that you can make a ridiculous amount of money from, I would recommend going into sales. And one of the easiest jobs to get into, I've actually interviewed a ton of people on this channel that have done that, is tech sales. And all the people I interviewed on this channel got into tech sales using a company called Course Careers. And they do have a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And they have a certificate program where they actually give you guaranteed interviews, which costs about $500. But if you use the link down in the description below, you will get $50 off automatically. So definitely check that out if you want to start something that's more of a serious career that can lead to you learning the most valuable skill that just about every billionaire or millionaire knows, which is sales. And also check out this other side hustle video that I did by clicking right here.